if asked, Daily December. Hey, this is Tommy, and this is our very last half-assed Daily December. And my guest today is Carlos from Five Awesome Bears. And I saw you posted an announcement a couple of days ago that you are trying to bring back the channel. So yeah. let's talk about definitely that. Definitely something that I've been working on for a little bit now. Um, if it happened on the past, but he really hasn't been as long as it has since last season to actually, you know, start the channel once again. So um, uh, it's going to be very uh, interesting. You know, I think I've personally have changed in a lot of ways, and uh, um, you know, it's, it will be kind of difficult to actually try to find a group of people who are going to be eventually be dedicated to the channel. So. And that's always been an issue in, in, in any collab channel that you've actually have to counter out there. You do find people who are, you know, not necessarily uh, consistent with their videos, and that happened in my in my channel as well, in our channel as well. So, so it's been almost two years since since Chell stopped doing Five Awesome Bears. So, yeah. what have you been doing in those two years? Wow, you know what? Um, I, I basically I, I started in the YouTube um, channel, you know, way way years ago, back when YouTube was uh, before Google. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yes, okay. I go back that far. The, the thing that you looked forward to in YouTube that was like the the biggest thing ever, you know, and and you got featured that said you made it, you know, basically right. you have um, thousands of people just looking at your videos and um, that. You know, change into the point of you know you needed to be smart, you needed to be like talented in a lot of ways, and I don't consider myself like that. You know, I consider myself to be you know an average kind of person when it comes to actually. I don't consider myself an actor or anything like that. But majority of the people who I followed since uh, the the beginning of YouTube um, were people like that. People who definitely liked being in front of the camera and they liked uh, the, the attention. I don't necessarily like the attention at the beginning, um, but you know it was. I guess it was a, sort of an outlet for me to actually um, open up a little bit more and, and let people know who I really was. But um, you know, I mean, I technically have been working a lot lately. You know, trying to work on you know my physical appearance as, as well. I've been working out a lot. Um, I've made a lot of changes. You know, uh, for this past uh, couple of years now, and um, you know, it helped me to, um, I guess, be a little bit more of uh, aware of who I really am and, and accept myself in a lot of ways, you know? Right. Um, so one of the things I've been doing or been wanting to do with this uh, Daily December thing is to, is to bring more bears to YouTube because that's one thing is that there's just not a whole lot of visibility oh, okay. on YouTube. And I know that you, you've done your part... With that before, with um, five awesome bears. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, mainly it was it was that, and and I was um, actually checking out some some of the videos uh, that you've posted, and um, the last interview you did with um, really cool. Um, he uh, he started the channel right after um, five awesome gays uh, came out, and he tried to do his thing. Uh, I personally uh, applied for uh, uh, Seven Shades of Grey, and um, it did not happen. You know, I was not picked oh, to no. be part of the group, so um, that lead, uh, that led for me to actually make my own channel back in the days, which I ended up donating the channel to somebody else. Uh, this channel was called um, A Bunch of Rejects. And, oh, um, I didn't know you were involved with a bunch of rejects because yeah. I watched a bunch of rejects. Yeah, I and started I a bunch rejects, of rejects from Seven SOG. Yes, yes, I started a bunch of rejects. Um, I started the channel and I picked every single um, most of the people who I picked for that um, bunch of rejects was to actually um, you know give opportunity for those people who applied for Seven Shades of Grey and didn't happen. So um, it's funny because that's how Seven, uh, Seven Shades of Grey started because of the five awesome gays. So um, we we did, uh, I don't know how many seasons we ended up doing for a bunch of rejects, but um, eventually got to the point where I had the idea of um, the five awesome bears. And uh, he ended up like I actually had the channel and I was not using it. And someone actually approached me and said, hey, you know what, um, you have five awesome bears. 
and I know that you have this other channel. It would be cool if you actually, you know, we can actually use the channel. And I, you know, say, why not? You know, I gave them the channel. They continue. And then you got to the point where I lost track of who has the channel. And even if the channel's still up, I'm not sure. <coughs> oh, the Bunch of Rejects channel? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, it's been gone longer than Five Awesome Bears has been gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So technically, you know, um, and that's how Five Awesome Bears started. You know, mainly for me, um, it was a way of, um, I don't know, it was a way of expressing uh, ourselves to the point of knowing that not necessarily everybody who was gay was, you know, either a twink or, you know, a muscle bear or anything like that. It was regular people who um, liked to do videos and happened to be gay, and, you know, the majority of them ended up being bears. Now, if you follow most of our seasons, not necessarily every single member that we had on the channel was an actual bear. Right. Um, we had people who, you know, wanted to join, was interested in the channel, and, and, and you know, we were open-minded to actually have different kind of groups to be part of, of the channel itself. Okay. So on uh, season one that we have um, uh, a trans bear, you know, Mr. Vincent was amazing. I, I until till today, you know, I mean, he was such a, an amazing person, and it was amazing working with him. So, you know, the diversity was there from the beginning. You know, a season, you know, bears came and, and went, and you know, drama did happen. You know, backstage, as you might say. Um, oh sure. You know, like anywhere else, I have to say, and and some seasons were shorter than others, and some people would follow up, some people wouldn't, but. I still, and until today, and I think I still thinking about it of bringing the channel back, and and now more mature of a person that I am right now, um, definitely interested in finding people who are in that state of mind as well. You know, people who are interested on in being, um, being heard, main main of all being heard, especially now with you know what's going on in the world. You know, it's a better way of actually expressing ourselves and letting the world know that not every gay person has to. You know, be a feminine, and not every gay person has to, you know, have a particular body or or, or anything like that. We all come in different shapes and, and sizes, you know. So, right. it's I. That's the main purpose of the channel: just break any kind of stereotype of how a gay person should look like or be like, you know. So, have you had any uh, nibbles on on your uh, quest for new applicants? Um, you know what? Um, I haven't had the time to actually promote, and when you approach. And you know, I was definitely interested on, on, on talking um, a little more about the channel, and I appreciate the time that you you know you're taking to actually talk to me. Um, but I really haven't had the time to actually search like I have in the past to look to see um, you know who will be a perfect fit. Um, there's a lot of people out there who might be interested, um, but I believe it's a group thing. And you know, I mean, right now the only person who is willing to come back is Mr. Nate. Uh, from past season, and um, until now he's himself and, my, and and myself, and we're still looking. It's a, it's a it's a partnership, you know. I ask him, hey, just look around to see if you know anybody who might be talented enough. Not necessarily in front of the camera, but talented to the point of editing, because that's a, a very important thing when it comes to actually making videos like this. It is yeah. um, you know the editing and and you know how comfortable you are in front of the camera and all that. You know, it's a combination of things. It's not just sitting. In front of the computer and, and making a video, you know. Right. So um, Nate is actually I I chatted with him a number of times about my channel and I, he was really helpful in helping me with focus a little bit, I guess, <laughs> on some mm -hmm. things. But, yeah. So that's great that uh, you're you're still talking with him. Yeah. No. Definitely. He he was one of the first piece, uh, per, uh, people that I actually approached, and he said, "Yeah, he was definitely excited." We've talked about it for the past year of actually coming back with the channel and um, you know a lot of things happen you know I mean, we have our lives we have um, you know our things that we got to deal with but I believe this is the right time for me and, and and obviously for Nate as well to you know open up a little bit more and and maybe steer the channel into um, the way that we wanted to steer the channel from the from the get-go you know trying to reach a little bit more now with Facebook now with um, Instagram Things that we didn't have back in the days um, to promote the channel and be able to show people out there how different we all are, and um, you know, ex show them exactly you know that once again we're not just a cookie cutter you know way of, of how every gay person should be you know. 
Right. So what's your time frame for trying to relaunch the channel? Um, I right now don't have one. Um, I definitely I'm going to be off for the next couple of days now, um, for the next five days, actually. So I'm, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of research, going on YouTube, trying to find out who um, who actually does video blogs. As I mentioned, um, uh, it's, it's difficult enough to find people who vlog. <laughs> even worse, people who actually are gay and vlog. Even 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 more difficult to find people who are bears who are gay and vlog. So yes. you know it's it's very difficult out there. But at the same time, it's um you know I mean it's a challenge that I'm definitely looking forward to 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 take. And you know the channel can start you know as early as February if we find everybody. If not, it takes a little bit longer. Um, I don't want to rush it like I have had in the, in the past where I just found people who okay let's do this. And um, you know, it hasn't worked out the way it, it should have in those past seasons. I don't have anything negative to say about any of the people in the past. Everybody dedicated their time, you know, dedicating, you know, good editing and and you know, efforts. So I I thank every single one of them right. who participated in, in the five awesome bears. You know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much because if it weren't for them, um, I don't think the five awesome bears would be where you know. What it is now, you know. Right, and all of those people had something to contribute. I mean, even if they were only there for, you know, yeah. the one yeah. season that they're leaving early, caused it to end early. But you know, they they contributed for those episodes. So yeah, definitely. You know, and some some of them are, are actually left in not in good terms. Okay. Uh, but once again, I don't hold any grudges towards them. Uh, I take the time now, and I do apologize for anybody who were, was part of the channel and felt left out or felt um, that was not fair in any way. Uh, I believe uh, we as humans, we tend to learn from our mistakes and, and grow. You know, it's an everyday thing. We grow, we learn, we understand a little bit more. So um, I never did anything wrong to anybody, but, you know, I just want to make sure that it's cleared out there, whomever sees seeing these videos, that if you're a part of the channel, you know, I, I have nothing but gratitude towards you and everything you did for the channel, so. Okay. So how can people find you, and and can people still audition for the show? Um, sure thing. Right now, it's easier for me. I mean, I, I, you know, just trying to log in back and forth on, on YouTube. It's a little bit easier now through my phone and into the computer, but sometimes I need to just be typing everything together. But if you are one of those people who might be interested in being part of the channel, uh, the best way to actually approach would be to send us an email, uh, which is um, five number five five awesome bears at gmail dot com. Uh, you can also uh, send us a message directly on our YouTube page, um, you know five awesome bears, and um, Facebook as well. We have a, an actual Facebook um, page that you can like, which is also five number five awesome bears. And you can check it out right there. Just send us, you know, mainly what we're looking for are people who are, once again, dedicated, people who are um, on point that will be willing to actually post one video once a week. Um, and uh, people who, you know, they're fun, mainly fun. Uh, you know, I don't search for looks. I don't search for age. I don't search for any of that. It's the chemistry that you portray in front of a camera that might have other people, you know, be interested in watching the channel, you know? Right. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to wrap things up here. And so if you've been watching this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And this is the last of the half ass Daily December, so there is not going to be one tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, man. And I thanks. really appreciate the time you spent with me. Yeah. Hang on.